Hi guys, see you again on my YouTube channel. I hope you are well now. Let's go. Choose new part. Then insert part to open. Uncheck locate part. OK. Select distance from top plane to the bottom of part. There is 101.9 millimeters or rounded to 102 millimeters. Click part, then edit feature. Check locate part. OK. Set along Y at 102 plus 10. Or 112 millimeters. Along X at 12 millimeters. OK. Press Ctrl on the keyboard, then click top plane and right plane. On the feature toolbar, choose axis. OK. We can drag axis to extend. On the front plane, choose Sketch. Create Line. Add Relation to Tangent. Check the Angle, to divide how angle to rotate this product. There is a 42.9 degrees. Or round it to 43 degrees. Cancel Sketch. Choose Move Bodies. Click the Bodies to move. Click Axis as Rotation Reference. Set Angle at minus 43 degrees. OK. Choose Copy Bodies. Then click Bodies to copy. Check Copy. Click Axis as Rotation Reference. Set the angel at 180 degrees. OK. On the front plane, choose Sketch, then create rectangle. Choose Offset Entities. Set Offset Distance at 23 millimeters. Check Offset Geometry. Click Rectangle, then check Reverse. OK. Create Circle. Check for Construction. Set dimension at 20 millimeters. Offset entities at 5 millimeters. Set height at 350 millimeters. And length at 420 millimeters. On the Feature toolbar, choose Extruded Boss. Use Mid Plane. Set Depth at 60 mm. Uncheck Merge Result. OK. Then choose Combine. Click Subtract. Click Boss Extruded as Main Body. Choose two bodies to subtract. Show Preview. OK. Roll back at body copy 4. Choose scale. Set origin. Set shrinkage value for polypropylene plastic at 1.018. OK. Roll to end. On the feature toolbar, choose split. Click front plane as trim tools. Click cut part. Select all. OK. On the front plane, choose sketch. Then create line for runner. Make midpoint. Make parallel. 
Choose Sketch Fillet. Set Fillet at 6 mm. Select Entities to Fillet. OK. Select Sketch, the right click. Choose Split Entities. Click Point on the Sketch. Set Dimension to the point at 2 mm. Change Line to Construction Geometry. Exit Sketch. Choose Sweeped Cut. Choose Circular Profile. Set Diameter at 6 mm. OK. Choose Fillet. Set Fillet Radius at 3 mm. Select Items to Fillet. OK. Roll to End. Click this face, and then choose Sketch. Show Sketch 80, then click Convert Entities. Drag to extended these lines. Exit Sketch. Choose Sweeped Cut, and Circular Profile. Set Diameter at 2 mm. Uncheck Auto Select. Click this body. OK. On the Feature Toolbar, choose Hole Wizard. On the Legacy Hole, choose Counterboard Drill Type. 20 mm of Diameter. 25.4 mm of Counterboard Diameter. 6.3 mm of Counterboard Depth. Set the position of Guide Pin. Add Relation for 4 point at along Z. OK. Choose Move Face. Set Distance at 5 mm. Check Flip Direction. Select Face of Guide Bush to Move Face. OK. Choose Hole Wizard. On the Legacy Hole, choose Counterboard Drill Type. 12 mm of Diameter. 30 mm of Counterboard Diameter. 16 mm of counterboard depth. Set position of spew bush to click anywhere on the face. Then choose add relation. Set along Z. OK. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.